Joshua Jones, a 23-year-old accountant, took his own life in summer 2015. He was young, bright and had a good job, but his world had been blighted by an online gambling addiction. Joshua was said to have lived a double life, taking out copious loans to feed his habit. Related article How to Support a Friend Was Overcoming Addiction Advertisement Continue reading Bellowing like a dependency on drugs or alcohol, gambling is often called a hidden addiction, because it's not usually discovered by those around the gambler until the last stages. They are not like the alcoholic, the breath does not smell of dice, points out Raymond Dixon, lead addiction counselor at Nightingale Hospital. But the problem is no less serious. For the 0.1% of people who are gambling addicts, their habit completely takes over their lives and compromises their relationships, jobs and social life. Raymond believes gambling addiction has become more of a problem recently in part thanks to related article men and addiction advertising there has been a significant increase in television advertising regarding online betting sites, which promote bingo and casino games, promising everybody big wins, says Raymond. The Internet The Internet allows people to bet online using credit debit cards. They can often feel they're not using real money. Plus, they do not have to leave the house to do it, which has made gambling far more accessible. The sites are open 24 hours and can be accessed via a PC, smartphone or tablet. Fixed odds betting terminals for tease machines are called the crack cocaine of gambling because they are highly addictive. Many bookmakers have reported taking more money from these machines than from over-the-counter betting. The machines attract people because the payouts can be in the hundreds of pounds, but the odds are overwhelmingly in the betting shop's favor. It doesn't help, Raymond says, that many of us still believe these common myths about gambling addictions getting Matthias Tundra advertisement continue reading BELOW1. It's about greed problem gambling is about many things, but a desire for riches isn't actually one of them. Raymond reveals there are two main types of gambler he comes across in the clinic escape gamblers and action gamblers. Escape gamblers generally play chance games, such as slot machines. For this type of person, their addiction is almost hypnotic and about escaping their everyday reality. Related article The Rise in Walk and Talk Therapy, whereas action gamblers tend to play skill games where they can pit their wits against the house, such as poker or racetrack betting. For these people, it tends to be about abating poor self-esteem, Raymond points out. But it is not about the money. Money is just the vehicle to achieve the desired emotion. However much money is won, it will be put back on the table until it is all lost. Point two. It's just weak willpower problem gambling is an impulse control disorder that's obsessive and compulsive. And it can be just as addictive as alcohol or drugs. For instance, it ticks the same boxes on an addiction chart as these substances, including 